So I'm going to talk about why lemon water is essential if you're doing fasting and the ketogenic diet. Now, typically when you think of lemons, you think of acid, right? Citric acid. And lemon juice and lemons are really good to decrease the risk of kidney stones because they help bind with oxalates. Okay, and most kidney stones are calcium oxalate stones. There is some vitamin C in lemons, okay, but not if it's in a jar and it's pasteurized because the heat destroys the vitamin C. The other side note that you need to know is that anytime you consume vitamin C in your body or any food with vitamin C, and at the same time you're consuming sugar, what's going to happen is your body is going to absorb the sugar but not the vitamin C. Because their chemistry is very similar, the body will always absorb sugar before vitamin C. And uh, I can think of uh, like lemonade, for example, where people take the lemons and all the sugar, they're thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to get some vitamin C. No, they're not. Okay. So there's some other benefits of lemon juice or lemons. And you could use the juice of one lemon, which is one ounce of lemon juice, or just lemon juice for what I'm going to recommend. Now, what's interesting about citrus in general and lemon juice or lime juice is that after you consume it, within one hour, that acid turns to an alkaline substance. It turns alkaline. So lemons are good for people that have acidosis, where their pH is slightly too acidic. Okay, that means the pH has dropped down. Now, normally the blood pH should be between 7.35 and 7.45. Okay, now anything above 7 is more alkaline. So the blood is naturally alkaline. But if it goes below this 7.35, you start developing a condition called acidosis. Now, here are the symptoms for acidosis. Shortness of breath. Your breathing is affected labored breathing, deep breathing, headaches, because you're actually getting too much CO2, you're tired, confusion, tremors, sleepy, arrhythmias, increased heart rate. Okay, so these are all the symptoms of acidosis. What's interesting about that is there's this concept that if you're too acid, you're always unhealthy. We need to alkalize the body. Okay, Alkalizing the body for every condition is a good thing, uh, including cancer. But that's actually not true. You don't want to be too alkaline. And you don't want to be too acid. You want to be exactly right where you should be. But in this video, I wanted to talk about the symptoms of being too acidic and what causes that. And the remedy would be lemon juice. And you can put it in your water. So what causes our bodies to become too acidic? acidic. Keto and fasting could do it. Now, if your body is healthy, you're not going to develop acidosis okay, from this right here. But ketones in general are acidic. And when you do a ketogenic diet, low carb, and you do fasting, you're going to have more ketones. You might have more acid in the body. And so drinking lemon juice can help uh, reduce some of the excess acidity. If your kidneys are damaged, you can develop acidosis. If you have too much iron, you can have too much acidosis. Alcohol will put you in a state of acidosis. And then you have a condition called lactic acidosis. I've done some videos on this. I'll put the links down below. But this occurs when you consume metformin, which is a medication for diabetes. One of the side effects would be lactic acidosis. But really, this mainly occurs if you are B1 deficient. If you're consuming a lot of carbs, that's going to deplete B1 or refined grains especially. So if you have acidosis, taking B1 can greatly help that. Now, ketoacidosis is very rare. This only occurs if you're a type 1 diabetic and you fail to take your insulin. So, I mean, taking lemon water is not going to create a big uh, change for this. If you're interested in more information, I put a link down on this, but this is very rare, and this is not going to happen to anyone who is healthy. So if you do a keto diet or fasting, you're not going to develop this unless you're a type 1 diabetic and you fail to take your insulin. If the liver's damage, you can actually go into acidosis from that. Excess exercise can also put you in a state of acidosis. Now, there's other things that can do it too. For example, 
if you're consuming a tremendous amount of apple cider vinegar or you do kombucha tea, like uh, in the past, I remember drinking a whole bottle of kombucha tea, very, very acidic. And I definitely went into a state of acidosis because my heart rate started going very, very high, just pounding and pounding and pounding. And I had some of these symptoms. My breathing was off. Uh, I couldn't sleep at night. So uh, what I did is I drank some lemon juice, okay? Bam, handle it. So realize that the lemon turns alkaline after about an hour and it'll start to adjust your pH that way. Uh, there's certain conditions that will cause this and there's certain conditions that will cause this. And you want to be right in the middle right here. If you're doing fasting, if you're doing keto, I would recommend to do this even while you're fasting. Take some lemon, maybe about one ounce, put that in water, drink that down, and that way you can help minimize this condition right here and some of these symptoms. Thanks for watching. Hey, we're back with another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.